and action. It's June 14th, 2016, and we're over here in the parking lot, West Town Mall, once again, um, trying to beat the heat, uh, get the run in a little bit earlier, and just so happens that we're going to catch the sunrise. Awesome. It's rising right over Texas Roadhouse. Call ahead seating early dying. Blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, so it is I guess the last I checked it was around 6.30 or something of the a.m. obviously. Yeah, 6.36. And what we've got going on here is, I guess I'm going to take off the stunners for now. But, um, getting the day started. Uh, it's been so hot in recent runs that um, I was thinking I could like at least take a day off or a couple of days off if I could work in either a late run here or maybe a morning run there. Um, and that's what we're doing. So we got up about five. Brutal. It's like. I don't know, fortunately I haven't ever had to wake up that early, but my, my hat goes off to uh, to those people that that do have to, because uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm that much of a morning person. However, with coffee, I can get going pretty well, so. Mm. Let's see what we have going on here. Let's just read the news. I'll check that out. Who didn't see that coming though, really? It was calves. Check him out. King James, that's awesome. Cavaliers 112, Warriors 97. I may have done a little smack talk. Uh, in a in a recent post about that but uh Brana had an idea that you were going to come out ham <laughs> so i don't know maybe we'll have a series but uh look at curry over there <laughs> just be like uh can anybody stop him that's all five around him hmm way to go man way to go Bron. so um anyway Let's see. What are we going to get into today? Oh, pretty excited about this. Why don't we go ahead and break it out? <laughs> Cutting implement. It is, uh, it's starting to be a decent morning. I mean, I guess it's maybe 70 right now, so. This, I think I have a good idea of what it is. I'm gonna try to, I should have brought the uh, little GoPro tripod. Um, I ordered these last week, early last week, I didn't expedite shipping, but I'm pretty excited about opening these. They arrived in like two days. Somebody 
somebody was looking out for me over at Hoka. Or, um, Shoes on the Web, I believe it is. Shoes on the Web, check them out. We got some quick shipping. Hoka, one one. Awesome. Hoka11.com. I don't even think my face is woken up yet. Um, these you get a good idea of how how much wear is on them. Those are gone, but those are still sweet shoes. Okay, almost as excited as I was to see. Uh, Let's see, what was that? Um, Conjuring 2 yesterday? Yeah, I was getting pretty pumped to see that. I kept delaying it because, I don't know, I just had heard a little bit about it and obviously it did pretty well. It did pretty well uh, over the weekend. So the first one was decent to me. Um, but then the second one, there was something about the, the reviews I read and... Um, I guess uh, some of the trailers, like a couple of the trailers, so uh, shout out to Juan for that. I think it was James Juan. Yeah, James Juan um, nailed it. I mean, that that was, if you don't get it after that, you're not getting it, I don't think. So, who knows, may shake your hand someday. So yeah, I'm equally as excited to open these. Now, watch them be the wrong color of orange. Yeah. They are not. Oh, baby. The first thing I notice is a, I think a little bit more of a beefy profile there. I don't know. That could be. Well. Yeah. They definitely have where the laces go running up further on the shoe. More support. The weight is, I don't know. I think the other ones may be affected because they could be trapping moisture by now, my old ones. Obviously, you don't have the sport lace. That's a bummer, man. I cannot wait to put my feet in these. I'm gonna try them out today. And this is the maiden voyage, so to speak. Let me see if I can compare just side by side, just to see what we're looking at here. Uh, Hoka 1-1 Conquest version 1. Hoka 1-1 Conquest 2. They do. They do have some more support for the top of the foot. The sport lace was sweet on these last ones just because you can get in and out of them and obviously you don't have to worry about them coming untied. That's the first drawback I see, the, really the only drawback because I think this is going to be a sweet shoe. I'm happy with it. You can find them, you can find them online, um, places other than uh, Hoka's website and that's what I was looking for. I think I looked through uh, a Google search maybe I don't think it was Amazon although it could have been Amazon I don't know I think it was Google and found shoes on the web and like I said I mean it was very simple once I found the shoe I was looking for uh, 
ordered and I'm not saying everything's gonna come in two days but who knows may have I may have expedited shipping I don't know I can't remember but um, quick arrival um, and product as advertised so in conclusion before I get my feet into, into some new shoes and log in a few miles this morning hopefully before it gets too hot it's been reaching uh, I think it was mid 90s the last couple of days so that's no fun to run in but I wanted to enjoy this one as much as I could in some new shoes so shout out to Hoka shoes on the web all that good stuff um, congrats Bron and Cavs um, by the way a little bit of a shout out going on there anyway I knew you'd pull it out peace And action. Uh, June 14th, Hoka, Hoka Conquest 2 Maiden Voyage. Take two. Uh, just got off of eight miles, and this is raw, <laughs> if you can't tell. Ugh. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to give my first impression uh, right right off of the run. Um, outside of me being a dummy, uh, I couldn't expect or I couldn't ask much more out of out of shoes, uh, running shoes. Uh, where I was a dummy, I didn't wear socks that uh, came up over the full lip of the shoe and I sort of rubbed rubbed a little blister there. So um, that was operator error. Um, but looking back on the run, uh, let me see how to freestyle this. Um, I know, I know experienced runners will know what Hoka's are. Um, you go in any specialty shoe, shoe shop and um, you mention Hoka and they know, I guess, uh, what type or what, you know, what you're looking for um, or what you're used to. So I've done that at a couple of spots um, and I think that's a start with the experienced runner. Uh, Hoka's, I would, if you're a runner, um, I would challenge anybody to come up with a better shoe than this. Uh, both the Conquest 1's and now these bad boys, the 2's, uh, they're going to be, they're going to be in my running arsenal for a while, so, uh, uh, it's really good coming from a standpoint where you have some experience so like I said I, I probably average at least or I probably do eight miles a day so I'm used to running and uh, sort of know what to expect out of shoes um, but to the beginner um, if if you're just getting into running and uh, I don't know you have ambitions to run or you have goals to run maybe a uh, couple miles a day I would say uh, two things one start out with your basic pair of shoes uh, and I'm not knocking any brand but go get some New Balance or, or Nike's or whatever type of running shoe you see or even have and run in those for about a week to two weeks and I'm um, again you know drawing experienced and beginner together uh, something's on fire there's a fire around here daily um, but anyway bringing the experienced runner and the new runner to sort of uh, a common ground uh, do some runs 
for a couple of weeks, maybe even a month in your basic shoe. And then if you can afford it, uh, I would say go out and get, um, go out and get some Hoka's just for the sake of knowing what a shoe uh, is supposed to be. Because again, I'm not knocking any other brand, but I think, I think it you'd be it would be challenging to, to find a better shoe. Responsive, uh, outside of like I said, rubbing a place on the back here where I didn't have sock coverage. Um, they just cushy, cushy feel to it. So let's do some editing. Hoka, thanks for the product. Uh, my feet will always be in a pair of horseshoes. Till next time, peace.